1985 Ford Transit ice cream van. So this is the Mark II, it's a 2.5 litre diesel. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. We'll start on this front driver's corner. There is a few little marks and things in the bumpers, um, but it has been a proper working ice cream van for quite some time from what I understand. If we look down the side of the van, you'll see it is nice and straight. This front arch and everything's all nice and clean, nice and straight. All the air, uh, the vinyling and everything is, is, is nice and fresh. There's no marks on that front wing at all. I do have a little scratch on the door there, just in the vinyl you can see. And going along the bottom, there is a few marks where the door has been opened on things here and there. Just exactly what you'd expect. Along that sill all the way along, it's all nice and tidy. Got some chips and things in the paint around the uh, sort of belt line that comes all the way down the side, which you can see there. Um, and it is sort of peeling away ever so slightly on the corner. And we have some damage on this rear driver's side arch just around here. Something's been bashed off it or, or pulled out or something. Four good wheels and tyres. Painted this sort of cream colour. Um, and we do have a bit more of a crack here. A little bubble in the in the paint there. Let's see the rest of the seam itself is nice. So foul mouth dairy, it was sort of down south, that that south that south coast way for most of its life from what I understand. The sort of join where the body meets the cab does have some cracking in the in the paintwork on there. All the glass is nice and clear all the way around. It's a double opening one as well, so you can see it from both sides. On the rear, we've got a little bit of a crack in the paint there. A nice, clear, large window. All your sticker and everything on there. Bumpers, got some marks on the corners, as you can see. Exactly as you expect, sort of bombing around those little country lanes. And some marks just here and just there. Looking underneath, it is nice and clean underneath. It does seem to be nice and solid as well. Look down that side, it is all straight along there. And again, same sort of thing. So cracks and damage in the belt line where people are leaning up against the window. Um, another large window, so pretty much identical on both sides. Except you've got things for flags on this side as well. Another good wheel and tyre. Arch again, all nice and solid. Crack in the paint here. And another one just here. And then the front arch again, nice and solid, nice and clean. And then the same situation, so where it meets the top of the cab, sort of got a couple of cracks in it, and then you've got a little bit of a rust bubble here, and another one on the gutter itself. Another one on the leading edge of this top wing, where it meets the bonnet. Front end is all nice and tidy, nice and straight. Both headlight lenses are all clear. Stamped Ford original ones, all that sort of stuff. It's lower valance and everything's good all the way along. We had a little stone chip here and there, just what you'd expect. Around the windscreen. Appears to be nice and solid. And then you've got these big plastic ice creams mounted on there as well, pretty cool. Have a look inside. So the driver's seat has seen better days, is probably the best way of describing it. See from jumping in and out, that's really warm. So which one's replaced, I would say. So it's 347,000 miles. Obviously these old Ford, Ford lumps will sort of go forever. We'll open that bonnet and have a look in there at some point. So passenger side. Okay, it wants a good clean out in here. Um, but you've got a vinyl seat on the passenger side. She's nice and tidy, got a little mark on the edge here. Have a look in the back. And you've got a sink set up on the corner here behind the passenger seat. And obviously your saving hatch bench here with your window on that side. More benches coming back here. You've got storage underneath and it has what looks like a relatively new vinyl floor input down. And then you've got your cold store here. So you open these up. Massive storage in there. Whole thing could do with a good clean, but it is all nice and sort of tidy, presentable. Roof and everything's free from cracks and things all the way around. And then you've got your sort of scoop serving spot here, which all lift out, the sort of stainless steel things. And your freezer down here with some hatch covers, 
some spare parts and things in there. And we've got a water bottle to go with you with this with your sink. We'll uh, have a look under the bonnet. That's a 2.5 litre diesel. It is quite dirty in here. We could do with a really good clean. We've got a little bit of sort of surface rust here and there on this panel. Let's say 2.5 litre diesel. It's been with us about three, four days now. It starts on the button every time. Straight away, no problem at all. Obviously, it's been someone's business for a long time, so they will have looked after it, you'd imagine. So, nice and happy, smooth. I have driven it briefly just because it's an ice cream van and why wouldn't you? It does seem to drive well. Picks up and goes quite happily. No sign of any smoke or anything. Looks like the uh, ice cream body itself was done by Morrison, but again, if you check the description, we'll write down what we know and where it's been and who did what to it. Any inquiries on this one, just get in touch. Happy to send any more videos, photos, answer any questions you might have. So there you have it, 1985 Mark II Transit ice cream van.